Welcome back to Primed for Battle. Today we're going to be painting uh, Seraphon Croxagor in my green colour scheme. And we're going to start with a Wraithbone Prime and then go all over with Pterodon Turquoise. So all the flesh, all the scales. Don't be afraid to get it in the eyes, the face, and we'll fix that all up later. Then we're going to come through with Black Legion and get all of the horns, nails um, and feel free to do the handle uh, and any of the areas that are going to be gold. And then any remaining areas that you want gold, I'm just going through with Wildwood um, and doing those as well. This just gives the metallic paint a better base to work on over the white. Right, and that's all done now. So we're going to come through with Gore Grunter fur and just get all the ropes. So that'll be for the necklace, on the tail, anywhere there's uh, ropey looking textures. Right, with that part done, we're going through with the stone using Mechanicus Standard Grey. So this is all the areas in the end of the club and also on the base, if it's on the base. And then just coming through with Volipus Pink to do the tongue. Don't worry too much if you get it on the teeth. You can come back with white later to uh, fill those in. From there, we're going to use Deep Kin Flesh and dry brush this over the entirety of the Croxagore, including on the uh, bony areas, uh, just to give them a bit of a lighter texture and uh, contrast. And then we're going to start on the underflesh. So start with Sons of Horus Green and just sort of paint in the muscled areas, leaving some darker color in the recess. And progressively, we're going to work through and add more and more deep kin flesh to lighten that up and do various layers. Uh, so you want to focus on the chest, uh, the abdomen, around the biceps and underarm and palms. Uh, the inner thighs, back of the feet, under the tail, uh, and around the lips and front of his uh, face around the eyes. This just adds a bit of depth and variation to the flesh and uh, lightens it up in comparison to the darker areas of the scales. So just work your way through, progressively adding a little bit more deep kin flesh and then as it gets lighter do sort of smaller areas until you get to the point where you can see here where we're just doing small little highlights with almost completely uh, deep kin flesh just to pick out the, the sinewy bits on the, the muscles and uh, the really raised areas of the flesh like the uh, the neck veiny sort of areas and the uh, wrinkles on the bottom of the feet, etc. From there, we're going to go through and do all the Balthazar gold. Uh, so that'll be predominantly on the weapon, um, on the handles and stuff, uh, but also there's some on the tail on this one and all of the little uh, rings and amulets and things that uh, it has on various points around its body including like the necklace, the anklet, um, there's a little ornament on the tail. Uh, this one in particular has a uh, sort of weapon on the end of its tail. So once we've got that done, uh, we're going to go over all of the gold with Agrax Earthshade. Uh, and in this instance, I've also done the stone on the base with Agrax Earthshade as well which just gives it some nice uh, texture and uh, shading and stuff throughout it all. So get all of the stone on the end of the weapon, all the gold. Uh, don't be too worried if you get it on the rope, it'll just add to the, uh, the rope effect as well. And then to finish off, we're just coming into the eye there and getting the eye with some Imperial Fist 
just to uh, really bring out the uh, sort of yellow glowing sort of pop in the eyes. Just carefully fill those in. If you've gone over it previously with any of the other colours, you can just uh, colour in those irises with some white or bone. And there we have it. A relatively straightforward scheme. You get it on your base and uh, you'll be off and smashing. You can see here some of the additional models, I've just done some color, contrast colors for the feathers uh, and uh, there's a special weapon there with a bit of an orange glow which is progressively just working through red and orange dry brushes up through to a yellow uh, point uh, which I might come back and do a, uh, a short video on at some point as well, just doing those sorts of special weapons. But thanks for joining me, see you next time.